This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. The lesson I'm working on is for loops with artist, and I'm on puzzle three. Use a repeat loop inside of a for loop to create this stack of triangles that goes from 50 pixels to 100 pixel size. That goes from 50 pixel to 100 pixel size. Okay. Oh, see, it's a triangle and a triangle. Okay, okay, okay. So they said use a repeat and a for loop. So a loop, for loops this guy, and then I already know I'm going to use a repeat, so I'll put that out as well. Now, we're going from 50 to 100 pixel sides, but not instantly, right? We start smaller and we're getting bigger. Okay. And then we're going to make, hmm, how many triangles is this, though? Okay, so we're going to use use a repeat loop for the create. Ah, so if we're going to repeat something, what we've always done when we're making triangles is we've used a repeat loop. So I'm going to assume this is for our three sides, okay? Now, how big are the sides? Uh, that's, oh, was that already there? Look at this. You can move forward by counter. So since the side length changed, we're not going to just move forward by one number. We're going to move forward by our variable counter. And each time, it's going to change. We start at 1, and it goes to 100, apparently. So this is going to be wild if I do it now. Oh, I never turn. Well, okay. And so if you remember with triangles also, when we were drawing them, each time we looped through to draw a side, you need to turn, I think it was 120. Let's try it for this side of a triangle. Yeah, so not that. Whoa, it's drawing it instantly for me. That's nice. Okay, so now each time we loop through, we're going to draw 120. Hmm. So that looks similar. Let's give this a try. Is it going to draw what it... Oh, yeah. Okay, so my notice are a lot smaller than theirs. Yeah, so mine were a lot smaller than theirs were. So how can I get them more separated? All right, well, if I start at 1, that means my first drawing is going to be repeated three times, move forward by one count pixel. Oh, wow. So that's a tiny little square right there, a triangle right there. Then, boom, hit the bottom, go back to the top. 1, but I'm counting up by 10, so 1 plus 10 is 11. So my next one will be 11, right there. These are all smaller than theirs, right? So if I slow down and run this again, you see how big their first one is? It's much larger than my first. Let's try to make ours that big. They don't have as many triangles as I do. So let's try to make this 30. Still not big enough. What about 50? Oh, that looks good. And so now it's going to go through and do it how many times? Well, 50, 10, 10, 10. So it should make five triangles. How many did we need? Oh, what? But ah, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six. It will do six because it will run when it equals 100. So we start at 50, then 60, then 70, then 80, then 90. Oh, no. Since we start at 50, it, that's five right there. It doesn't run on 100. We start at 50. So that's five times. Oh. No, it does run on 100. Okay, we start at 50 and it goes up to 100. And that's the sixth time at 100. Cool. And we start at a 50 pixel side. And we make three sides of 50 pixels. We hit the bottom, go back to the top. 50, count up by 10, is 60. Then we make three of those sides, 60, which would be this line. We hit the bottom, go back to the top. Then we count up by 10. So now we're at 70. Now we make three sides, right, of 70, which is our third and so on and so forth. That's super cool. Let's uh, keep... I'm going to do it again. But uh, let's keep going.